What's up, guys? My name is Speedrunner1, and welcome to another episode of Rets on Fire. Um, this is mm, episode 3, yeah. And, uh, so I touch base in both episodes about, pers you know, kind of my personal life. And then I kept getting sidetracked on, on all sorts of different things. So, and s I'm going to try and focus this episode on pretty, you know, I'm going to try and stay fielded in the personal aspect of things. Um, as I've said in other videos, uh, my name is Joshua Stanley. Uh, I'm 19 years old. My birthday is May 12th, May 12th, 1993. And I live currently in Houston, Texas with a good friend of mine. So I am enjoy I enjoy gaming daily um I always get the question of what does you know what does gaming mean to me and that's really a big broad question but I've always answered it with this one one answer and it's more of a simple answer than a broad term um the reason why I enjoy gaming so much is because for me gaming brings me out of the reality of the world and puts me into a universe where I have complete control over everything. Um, if I wanna, if I'm playing like Fretz on Fire and I start doing bad, I can just quit. Or if I start doing bad with like um, Mario or whatever, I can I can quit the game and and be done with it. But I don't have to be strictly forcing myself in the real world or in a game to do the things I would normally do. In you know, if I let's say I playing Guitar Hero on the Xbox and I um I start messing up pretty bad, um I can I can stop, take a break for a sec get my shit together and then try again with like a job in the real world you can't you can't do that I mean it's not good to do that to just stop and then take a break on on your, in your career it's never good because usually you end up getting hurt in in the end for doing for take just taking a break so instead uh, of taking a break in the real world gaming lets me take a break whenever I feel like taking a break um, I can go play like Battlefield Bad Company 2 to do the, to finish the campaign or whatever and I can take a break while playing it um, it won't matter but um so gaming gaming for me means the fact that I can stop at any given moment and it puts me into a new world. A new world where there are no rules, there's no one yelling at me, there's no nothing that I have to worry about in terms of like if I were to get in trouble like in a game, like let's say playing Grand Theft Auto, like I go shoot someone, you know? I'm not gonna go to I'm not gonna do anything. I can just have fun and enjoy myself in the way that I want to and I enjoy the game so instead of you know doing real world challenges like oh you're supposed to do this at work you're like okay I can do that at work but you know if you need to take a break for a minute you know in uh, in the real world you can't really do that too too much it's kind of one of those harder things where it's like I need to take a break and then your boss says no you can't do that and then you're pretty much screwed so um, that's why I enjoy gaming and that's my outlook on the gaming life in my extent of why I enjoy gaming so much and why gaming for me puts me into another world um, today is the 18th of September Tomorrow I have a job interview, hoping that goes well. Um, so, again, 
to get into the personal life. Currently, I don't have a job. I've been looking for a month now. I when I move or two months now actually, when I moved to Texas, um, I've been looking for a job ever since. I've been doing my best. I know I've been. I can post videos whenever. When I'm not, you know, when I'm home and not working, but I can also after I record, like say I'm I'm gaming. Or let's say I go to work. I can go to work and then afterwards come home and sit in front of the computer and and game and record my videos and I get one posted, let's say I work from like eleven AM till hmm, let's say eight. Let's say I work that long. Um I can come, I can, in the morning, I can get up before then, I can go to work, um, I can, you know, enjoy myself a little bit before work, I can record a video, or I, or what I can do is, after I get home from work, the night before, record both videos I need to record for the next day, and then post one, post one video in the morning, before work, before I have to leave for work, and then when I get home, post another one and then when I and then when that one's done posting I can record for tomorrow's episode. Um, so I now have the ability to do custom thumbs, which custom thumbnails are pretty sweet when it comes down to it. So you'll see a change up of that where you'll see custom thumbnails on my videos. Um, the Fritz on Fire and the Mario gameplay I've been not um, if you watch m most of my other videos, you'll see the the ads pop up. I've been leaving that the Fretz on Fire and Mario alone, just because at least Fretz on Fire, there's all the songs, and instead of taking the violation from the songs um, by trying to monetize the videos, I decided to just say no, and um just post them instead. If I just post the videos and not worry about monetization and putting ads on my videos, I don't have to worry about um, them getting, you know, copyrighted and, and whatnot and then the video getting blocked or taken down. So that's why I haven't monetized these videos and put ads on them. Um, so other other personal information, um, I do have a girlfriend. Um, I've had her since May, so on the 27th, it'll be the f it'll be four months we've been together. Um, she lives in a different state. Uh, I plan we plan on moving in together after her first semester of college is over. Once that's once she's done her first semester, um, she's gonna transfer to a uh, state. Um, uh, bleh, that was bad. She's gonna transfer to a school down here within the state, so I'll be able to be able to play all my gaming and have her here, and maybe do a few gaming commentaries with her here. I haven't quite decided on that yet. Um, I still have to convince her as well, but I do. I plan on being with her for, you know, the rest of my life, and she'll probably come up in maybe some videos, just her voice, um, just because I, you know, I've never been one to do the face cam, um, if anyone wants to know, I am a little bit overweight, um, it really doesn't look it, to be honest with you, my tummy's just a little bit big, big deal, um, Hmm. What else? Um, I have a little bit. I'm a little bit big on the tummy. I'm not ashamed of that. My neck might look a little, a little big, but you know, I don't give a shit. Um, I don't sprout facial hair. I've never been able to sprout facial hair. Um, it takes a really long time for me to actually sprout facial hair where it's actually visible. Um, due to some odd reason of, I guess I'm Swedish and French I think it is and I guess the combination makes it pretty much impossible for me to grow facial hair because I can't grow 
any kind of beard, a mu I can get a mustache, and I mean, like, it takes a while for me to get a mustache, which I think is a little, you know, it's, it's nice, because I don't have to worry about shaving all the time, but it also gets a little tiresome when all your friends are like, uh, oh, we have beards and you don't, you know, it's like, eh, whatever, you know, I don't care. I usually laugh at them and tell them I don't have to shave, so, usually a, more of a, kick in the ass for them than it is for me but I've been enjoying life here and just you know all around enjoying myself which is good so I'm gonna get more into like personal information within the next few videos um if anyone has seen my live stream and has seen my face they know what it's like and for the people who watch me uh, fail miserably at uh, Fred's on Fire like this and still, you know, continue to watch me but whoever has seen my live stream they have seen my face and I might not be the most gorgeous looking dude in the world I don't know why I said gorgeous but whatever, you get my point I might not be the most good looking guy in the world who's a gamer um, but uh, my teeth are bad, yes if, if anyone has seen then yes um, I had a very bad incident um, like two and a half years ago, three years ago now, that I haven't been able to see a dentist to get fixed because they don't know how to fix it. Um, that or just every time I go in for an appointment something comes up and I have to deal with some other thing that comes up and yada yada yada, you know how that works. But all my teeth are pretty much shattered in the front so they look really bad. So if you guys, you know, if you want to see me in face cam you're gonna have to deal with that. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I'll be posting more in the future, and I will talk to you guys in the future. Peace!